Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to put a tire back on the bike. The bike is a 1981 Honda CB750. Um, same as the video where we were removing it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put the speedo drive back on. Now as you can see inside the speedo drive, there's two little notches there and they must line up with the two notches on the actual uh, tire itself. So we're going to take a dab of grease and we're going to grease around the edge here. Now that it's greased, we can put it back in on those notches pointed out earlier. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the wheel in place. Careful of the speedo drive. Nothing's holding the speedo drive in until we get the axle bolt through. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grease up the axle rod. Don't be afraid to use as a, a very liberal amount of grease. And we're going to stick the axle rod through the bottom of the forks. Okay, so now that we got the axle rod through and over through the speedo over on this side, we're going to tighten it down. Now just double check that you did make it through over here, which you can see through that hole right there. It was empty earlier. Excuse me, I'll turn the camera to the side. Uh, but now we got it through. So we did make it through the speedo drive, Ooh, sorry. which is right there. That's the speedo drive. We made it through there and it's coming out right there. So now what we need to do at this point is we need to torque it to the factory settings for your bike. Okay, so for the Honda CB750C, which is what this is, a 1981, um, the factory calls for between 40 and 47 on the torque wrench. We're going to go ahead and use 45. And it's braking, and if you uh, know how to use a torque wrench, that means it's tightened to the proper torque setting. So now what we're going to do is we have the axle bolt in, and we have it torqued to our proper setting. So here's where the axle bolt is. This is going to actually tighten around the axle bolt. So it's going to be the screw that tightens the axle bolt. So the axle bolt bolter. We don't really know the actual name for this, but... And there you go.